What's good cyberspace? It's your boy Reclaim Your Throne coming at you with another crazy video. But first, my goal is to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. And you already know, Reclaim Your Throne. So guys, we gotta break this joint down. Oh man, Kendra G is going off on Danny Lay because she refused to come and do an interview with her. I guess cause she is linked up with, um, uh, what's her name, B Simone. And as I have broken down in the past, I believe, I'm not sure allegedly, but I believe the abortion that B Simone had gotten was the baby's baby. Um, I think she was actually in North Carolina at that time. So I think the abortion that she got was from the baby. Okay. He, she aborted his child. Um, that's what I think It's speculation. Allegedly, I don't know, but that has, I mean, the timeline lines up in my opinion, but who knows? <clears throat> but anyways, Danny Lay is beefing with B. Simone. B. Simone is friends with Kendra G. And Kendra G shows why there is no such thing as female solidarity. It's only online. Because when these chicks get in person or, you know, even if a slight happens between them, it's up, okay? And they are ready to fight and jaw jack and whatnot. So we're going to break down the video of Kendra G throwing shots at Danny Lay because she refused to do an interview with her. This goofy ass person of the day award goes to Danny Lay. And let me tell you why. Danny Lay is in the city of Chicago. I don't know why. Probably got a high school appearance. Who the hell knows? But she was set to do an interview with the morning show. So th that was a shot, a high school appearance. You know, <clears throat> She's a woman. She's trying to get a bag. Um, obviously, there's beef because Danny Lay is light skin and Kendra G is dark skin. There's always been beef, okay? And they try and say that the black men are the colorists um, when a lot of times it's just a preference for certain brothers. Uh, they try and say we're the colorists, but who is really beefing out here? Like, even think back to high school. I mean, from what I remember, the dark skin girls was always trying to jump the light skin girls. Ah. <laughs> That's just what I saw. OK, and, you know, it, it happened like that for some reason. I don't know. But there was obviously beef there. Oh, so, and she requested that I, Kendra G, be removed from the interview because she was uncomfortable talking to me. Girlfriend, this ain't wildin' out. You ain't gonna be Simone me. <laughs> now your whole interview has been canceled, but I'm trying to figure out why you wanna talk to me in the first place. I actually been on the radio defending your honor. I really felt the way when your baby daddy played you on that infamous IG Live and I defended you on the radio. Mm, so now she's taking shots on how the baby um, played her in the IG Live and he put her on blast cause she wouldn't leave. And I think he was trying to sneak a chick in and she wouldn't leave and then you know, there was some aftermath where it looked like she was about to get physical with him. A whole bunch happened in their relationship. Obviously, the baby had made some mistakes, but she made even bigger ones, in my opinion. Um, and it was embarrassing. It was embarrassing. And the baby put out her family business talking about she Matilda. I guess she comes from a broken home and adopted family, which, you know, there shouldn't be shame associated with that. But, you know, leave it up to you know, these dudes to shame her for that, okay? When in all actuality, that is um, a very sensitive situation, especially if um, there is abuse in that home, which it sounds like there might have been. So let's keep watching. Now, shout out to B. Simone, who I know in real life, rock with in real life, but I actually understood why you didn't want to do wild and out with her. But I'm still trying to figure out why the hell you ain't want to talk to me? Now, are you nervous? I'm going to ask you the questions that need to be asked. Like, are you still sleeping with your baby daddy uh -oh. after he beat your brother up and played you on the IG live? Wow. So y'all remember the baby and them jumped him at the bowling alley. 
So now she took shots at her again. I mean, I'm telling you, bruh, Kendra G, she tries to act like she's not red vitamin, but I think all these discussions with these women are running up her blood pressure. And <laughs> I think that she, you know, maybe needs to take a break because a lot of times she, she likes to pass over some of these chicks. She doesn't hold a lot of them accountable. And honestly, there, there needs to be some type of leveling where she's like okay we're gonna rate you because a lot of the chicks come up there and talking about they want this man and that man it's just like honey it's not happening look at you look at yourself i mean it, it, it's crazy and you know what i probably would have asked you that question because i need to know because if you forgave him that means i need to forgive him are you nervous I was going to bring up that whack-ass Jellabone song? Girlfriend, I don't care. You can make a song about your skin tone and, and celebrate it. I love being a dark-skinned woman. Ain't no whack-ass song like that. I mean, and when you when you have to say, oh, I love being a dark-skinned woman, like, black men, we're not, unless somebody's like, oh, you're a colorist, that's when you have to say, no, nah, I love what I look like. I love my skin tone and all that bull stuff. But, like, dude, when you have to say, oh, I love being a dark-skinned woman, it's just like, <laughs> like, what? <laughs> yeah, gonna make me insecure about my complexion. Are you nervous that I was gonna ask you, like, how did it feel to be a girlfriend thinking you was better than all the baby mamas just to become a baby mama and get treated worse? Mm. And you know what, Denny Lay? I probably would've asked you all those questions because guess what? That's my job, that's what I do. I and yeah, um, we know these artists are sensitive, so you can't come at them how Kendra G is coming at them. And you can burn a lot of bridges with certain artists, like maybe Danny Lay blows up one day and she never wants to come on 107.5 um, FM because of Kendra G. You never know. Um, and I'm not saying you gotta kiss the artist behind, but I think that Kendra G... I think she overreacted for sure. I mean, the woman denied coming to your radio station. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Like, she's trying to do whack. She's, I think it was like whack ass person of the day, like donkey of the day that Charlemagne does. <sighs> it's like she copied everybody. Like, she copied Kevin Samuels with the show. Now she copying Charlemagne, like, bruh ask the questions that the people want to know maybe you should focus on your job be in the studio and make a hit and we gotta talk about your music and not about your personal life that's not my fault that your personal life is more relevant than your music that's your fault you around here trying to get people removed from interviews it don't go down like that now you miss out on an opportunity to have a radio interview on number one urban station in chicago and guess what this opportunity might not come around look I'm, I'm sure Danny Lay doesn't care. I mean, she is a nobody artist. Let's keep that a buck as well. Um, she is a nobody artist, but she doesn't care. She's one of these young, I don't give her, she's like one of them young, you know, chicks. So they don't care. They're living life fast. Um, they don't care about burning bridges. They don't care about ghosting people. I mean, <laughs> It is what it is. Again, because your music ain't popping. So with that being said, sit your goofy ass now. Enjoy Chicago. That's what it was, goofy ass person of the day. So she said, enjoy Chicago. Are you here? This go So, and then you seen the neck roll at the end. I mean, I love radio, you know, I do. I, I, I consume radio a lot in my younger days. I did radio um, at the local station in my city. And I just think that she could have handled it a lot better, especially if she's going woman to woman, like they're trying to make it seem like there's some type of solidarity and there ain't beef, especially when it comes to dark skin and light skin. A lot of things she didn't even have to bring up. Like you pretty much know the show she was thinking about like the yellow bone song she was thinking about that and she was going to question her on that because it triggered her for some reason and kendra g does get triggered easily so i i, I think she could have handled it better it just shows that she's kind of imploding 
I've seen other videos on YouTube where people are breaking down that she's imploding. Um, she's not married, okay? We don't know her situation. We don't know who she's dealing with, but, you know, is the guy really there for long term? I mean, I'm, I'm sure he's good to tap it long term, but if she is making the type of money that she's making and then talking to um, guys who are making that same type of money, I mean, good luck. Good luck, you know? And I think she looked great, but good luck. Anyways, you already know what it is. It's your boy, We Claim Your Throne. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Send your relationship question to the email down below. With a screenshot of your cash app, so I know you're paying your ties, man. Y'all need to be on your freaking day with the BS. You already know. Reclaim your throne. Claim your throne.